Something on your mind? Do not let them overwhelm us! There, a cunning trap. I shall do it.
It is begun. The task is finished. any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. <sighs> I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Do not listen to him, Lady! He will betray you! We must attack him now! Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my Lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Those whom I have helped are very grateful for what I have done for them. I offer them guidance, but I do not command them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. 
Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way that he dies, then they all die. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. The passage just outside of this room is open. And here you are already. You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. 
They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. You were not there. You did not see what... what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Dalish. You know how we must struggle to be safe. How we must fight for justice. I could not let their crimes go unanswered. I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being, but such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! It is not a betrayal. I did what was necessary. I did what was just, and it still is. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <sighs> you see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. 
All of you will suffer as you deserve. Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, Spirit. I am an old man. Alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us. let us put an end. It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. <laughs> 